Previously on the North Devon Chop Shop YouTube channel. Right, turbo manifold. Pretty happy how that's come out. I've got an adapter from the two and a quarter that I'm using up to three inch. This is a turbo flange. Yeah, it's a completely open one. I'm not doing twin scroll, as you can see. This is square. And that's round. I'm going to squeeze this in the vise until I get it to that shape. It's not perfect. But as my old music teacher used to say, it's close enough for jazz. Manipulating this has put the other side out of round, but we're not going to worry about that for a minute. We'll get this welded on and then form that back round again. Come out pretty nicely. Pretty happy with my welding at the minute. The only thing I'd like to improve is my stop starts. You can see where I stop and start. Um, the ultimate goal is to make it all look like one big long weld. See it's warped the flange ever so slightly. Um, you can clamp it to something to stop that happening but it's not that bad. I'll just stick it on a belt sander and flatten it out. V-bands are one of my favourite things to weld. When you put the V-band on, you've got a nice big lip here. So you can aim the tungsten right against this thick, thick-walled bit of stainless here and just let it melt into the thin stuff. It's come out quite nice. I've used a 1.6mm filler. Probably could have used one, but I'm running out of one, so... I want to use 1.6 in the places that I can. Do you see all these purples and blues? This is what people in the automotive industry want. In some industries, colour in welding is actually undesirable. They want to see it as a straw colour. But on cars, we like the pretty colours. This, on the other hand, is much seems to be much harder to weld. Um, this is thin. This is pushed inside here so it's thin. So you need to heat this up quite a lot. But when you're welding right on an edge like that, when you catch it wrong it can just quickly melt away, disappear. So you've really got to be careful not to get this too hot. It's also not totally round. So you've got some bigger gaps. I'm just going to have to be careful with it.
Notice how after I finish welding, there's gas still coming out. It's shielding the weld from the oxygen in the air. But notice how as soon as the gas stops, the colour in the weld appears. Top secret tip, the way I work, if you're a proper fabricator, you'd work out exactly where you wanted the turbo, say here, and then you'd mount it in position and then build pipe work from the exhaust to the turbo. That's difficult, you've got to be millimeter perfect. So the way I do it is I know roughly where I want the turbo and I build the pipe work roughly to there when you weld it, it all warps anyway. So get it roughly to there, and then I'll mount the turbo where it sits. One thing I try to do is make the least amount of cuts that I can. So when you buy bands, I don't know what they use to cut these, laser or water jet maybe. They're perfectly flat. So if I can keep it like that, makes it way easier to fit up. Unless you've got decent cutting equipment, which I certainly don't have. When I cut stuff, it leaves little gaps and you've got to spend ages. So, the least amount of cuts I can do, the better it'll be. Nice little flex there. See, these are all solid pipes. The only cut I've had to make is I've cut down this but I've cut it down on the side that slips inside here so it doesn't really matter if I've cut it straight or not you see these how perfectly they're butted up and that's because I didn't cut them Real happy how this has come out. You think how rusty and rusty and gnarly the rest of the car is going to look? This stainless is going to be the bit that draws people's eyes. So I really want it done as well as I can because if people are going to judge me, this is what they're going to be judging me on. Putting this flex in here was a really good idea. It's given me a lot of, there's quite a lot of wiggle room there really. Can you see? Even with then solid engine mounts, take the engine out, you put it back in. Everything shifts, everything's just in a different place. So the turbo is gonna be mounted to the chassis here. It'll just give us a little bit more play to, uh, to get this on. Same as what I said earlier. If you're going to use pie cuts, these are pie cuts. It's bits of straight pipe cut at an angle that you can weld together to make bends. If you only need a few, just buy them. They fit perfectly. No messing about with your band saw and then spending an hour filing them to get straight. 20, 30 quid for a 90 degree bend. And they're just good to have around just for when you need them. So, dump tube or screamer pipe, wastegate, whatever you want to call it, is going to run along the side, down, and then it will come out the same as the exhaust, which are both going to come out in front of the wheel here. My conundrum in a minute, I've got another flexi. Do I put it level next to it, It looks like that, or do I offset them? I think 
really people would want to see them next to each other but it might just look a bit too uniform and look a bit odd you might just look a bit too structured I'm wondering if they're offset but are they not offset enough so it looks odd don't know might go have a cup of tea and think about it right I've consulted the council of elders the VWDRC I strongly suggest that you join the Volkswagen drag racing club if you're interested in Volkswagen drag racing so I'm gonna offset them several reasons one being if they're gonna be level they've got to be perfect and if these aren't if these are level and these tubes are gonna to have to be they're not running the same course anyway so it doesn't really matter if they're offset it'll look good and it'll detract your eye away from if they're ever so slightly out of parallel So this is where we are. Um, just need to weld up this piece here. So we'll get round to doing and I'll um, need some tips to go on the end. Not quite sure what I'll do. Just straight pipe out the side, probably. Um, I'm just gonna recycle this old used bit there. So might have to move that lambda bung there, it's a bit close to this. But um, yeah, I like how it looks. It's coming out quite nice. So this is a 60mm waste gate, if you're wondering. It's going to 2.25 2 inch screamer pipe, which is Remember when exhausts on cars used to be that big? That's what we used to do. Yeah, I like that. There will be... some support. I'm probably going to do... probably going to... have... I have some sort of bracket off here just to support this here and then uh, I don't think this one needs supporting because it's supported there so the turbo is going to be bolted to here so it will be fairly well supported what I am worried about is the weight the weight of this wastegate just leaning on there, so um, I need a bracket to support that weight, but a bit worried about doing it before the flex, just because if the engine moves, if the engine flexes the chassis a little bit, then it'll just snap off. So, so I think I'll have a support here, and then. Possibly, possibly tie this across here or across here. Some sort of bracket, either way, and then like a, a high temp silicon little rubber with a bolt. That might be a nice idea. But either way. It's coming together. I think it looks quite nice. So, there we are. So, so it fits like this. Ultimate plan is. 
I will make a new intake. I'll have no. In I'm going to run methanol ultimately, and I'll have no intercooler. And I'm going to make a new intake, and this will just go straight into the thing in the bob. But as it stands, I think to start off with, I'm just going to get it running. I'll have an intercooler, so this will go down. I'll have an intercooler which goes round and my throttle body's at the other side so it'll be like that I think that's what I'll do unless I just um, go methanol straight from the start but it means more work it means I'm going to have to make a new manifold this is a nice manifold I like I like this but the body's on the other side so there's that so the idea with using the stock manifolds there is a it saved me a lot of time you can see how long this is well you probably can't but this this takes a long time um having to run six runners is is hard work but in the future, when I will do a full six branch, which has got a V band here and here, so I'll be able to just ditch this. This cost nothing to make. Well, it did. This wasn't difficult to make. <clears throat> so I'll just be able to take this V band off here and here and make a new manifold just to fit here, and then all of this bit will be usable stock manifolds will will um they will run quite a lot of power really i don't know what the limits are but quite a lot it's just giving me loads of room under here which is what i was worried about not having room because the plan has been to run the radiator back here not this exact one but similar my two pipes i'll have to do a u-bend off there unless there's a alternate version of this I can find anywhere if anyone knows this is a 24 valve one you'd need um, actually I don't think I do anyway, so these two pipes the two radiator hoses we'll have to double back and there's plenty of room under here to go through under here that up there so yeah there's actually way more room than I was thinking so that's good might do all the radiator in stainless hard lines so u bend come off there round to the radiator and then i think i don't really know how to plumb this but i'm thinking i will go off the back of the head to i'll have a header tank um there's a height probably around here header tank up here so it's the highest point it'll come from the head to the header tank and then it'll come down into the gearbox out of the gearbox and then into here oh i bet i could even use that flip round yeah that'll fit but that'll look nice stainless hard lines in between there yeah or copper piping don't know 